I didn't want to draw for a living. I wanted to draw to, to be to, to do biology and because I was really, really bad with mathematics I had to choose. So it drawing is a second choice. So that's the beginning of my journey. Because I like when things are well done, when I do them, I try to to do my best when I started drawing professionally. Well, at first when I went to an art school, I say, okay, I like drawing, I'm not that bad at that, so I have to manage myself to do it the best I can and learn the, the best I can. At first I, I was doing graphic novels for a while because it was cool. It was maybe not my first choice because uh, I prefer really animations, animation and movies and this kind of stuff. I was feeling closer to this style of, of telling a story with pictures than graphic novel. But as I was in this area where, where everybody was doing graphic novels, I decided to start doing that. So I was maybe 20 years old when I started doing my first book. I had the chance to, to meet uh, a few publishers at this time, 30 years ago. I think it was easier. The market was more open to new things and to, to make young people try. So I've learned a lot doing these, these first books. But after a few years, I was fed up and I, I, I was feeling I was trapped in something that wasn't really my strong suit. I, I wasn't feeling, I was feeling framed in the frames of graphic novels. And I started drawing illustrations for me and loose drawing for me. And, uh, and then after, uh, uh, out of the blue, I didn't know people could know my work elsewhere than in France. Uh, I received a phone call from, from the USA, from a studio, and he told me, do you want to do graph uh, character development? I said, yes. And I started doing some freelance, and after a while, because I was feeling comfortable and uh, I could see that there was a light at the end of the tunnel of graphic novel world, I said, if you want me to come over in the USA, uh, in, the, in the studio, I can come and I can do this job with, for you. And uh, so that's what I did. And my, my journey really changed its path at, the, at this moment. And I started to do whatever people asked me to do, but not graphic novels. So design, character development, illustration, communication, and I was still drawing a little for me. And um, I keep going doing that. I had to stop for a, a few years, a few years ago, because I, uh, I was sick. It was really bad. And uh, my journey start, started back four years ago again in drawing. At first I had to, had to start back my journey, as you call it. So at first it was difficult because uh, I, was, I wasn't working for, for five years. And then I had to ask myself if I wanted to keep going that job, if I still loved drawing even, what I liked. It's been four years that um, I didn't stop drawing again. When I was 20 or something, I was in art school and uh, we were all, all struggling with inking and, and construction and, 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 and composition and stuff. And I went to the library and uh, I discovered a, a Jeff Jones book. It was ideal, if I remember. And it was wonderful frames in black and white with ink made with a brush. And it was so simple and so obvious, and so, and it 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 it, it, trig it triggered something in my brain. That's how it works. That's how you can show things with almost nothing, as long as they are obvious and consistent and 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 placed 
at the right place so you can you can they can have their own existence. Jeff Jones really really changed something in my my perception of what was an image. In everything around me and in my in my childhood, in my history, in my dreams, in whatever, sometimes the ideas just pop up and but they are they are part of me, of what, everything I saw. I work a lot with my childhood, strangely, but it, it doesn't come, come on the paper exactly the way it was. It just, uh, I try to reproduce the, the feelings and I try to, to remember the, the way I was feeling when I was younger, etc. I, I work a lot on this and I use everything around me to the my kitchen tools to the things I saw in the streets and uh, the, the things I have in my table, my cats in my home, whatever. Everything, you know, you, you just pull uh, the, the string and everything comes and you tell yourself a story and say, oh, I could do... When you were playing and when you were a kid, see? See, you tell yourself a story, even a short one, even if it just takes one minute in your mind, it's like, oh, I could do that, and uh, this character would do that, and I could add that as a, uh, like props, and I could add that like uh, environment, I could add, and uh, that would be nice because they could do that, and they could do that, and they could fight, and they could, could be terrible, and it could be nice, and it could be, it's just, you know, that's the intention, you, you, tell a, you tell a story, you tell a story to yourself, you have a conversation with your paper. And it's with yourself, actually. The paper is your mirror. See what? It's my inspiration. <laughs>